Hi, my name is Janice Jackman, and I don't actually know what I'm going to say, except to say that I've lived in this town for 20 years, and I'm appalled at what I see. I live on Westover Drive. When I bought that property, when I bought that property, it was sold to me as forever. I understand that's, that wasn't probably legal to do. But I bought the house thinking it was, and of course now it's apartment city behind my home. I have a street behind my home that is not far from my property. It's virtually a postage stamp that I have for a backyard. The number of times I have called the cops for all the motorcycles that cruise up and down that street, they don't pay any attention to the speed limit, nor do the cars. I'm sorry, we, no, you, we're on Westover? Westover Drive, over here behind the ESL crack. Mm -hmm. Okay. I deal with that. My quality of life in my home has tanked, as have all of us that border that street. I have been told, who have I been told this by? Perhaps the police. Maybe you should take a moment. No, I'm, I'm 13 payments away from owning my home. I'm a teacher. I'm going to own that home. But shame on everybody. And if this board is, is the group of people who just allow everything and anything to be built, shame on all of you for not taking into consideration this town, what is best for this town. You talked about a goofy building, whatever that building is. How about the, the eyesore and the monstrosity that is being built right now behind Brewster's ice cream. Mm -hmm. Like everybody needed a storage unit and a monstrous <laughs> one at that. Now, thank God I don't live in those apartments, but apparently none of you care what they're not going to look at. Which Let me is, just interrupt you a second yeah. before you get too carried away with this. I don't think I'm carried away. I speak for a lot of Webster residents. That I just have the guts to that, What would you propose to do with a project like that storage facility? How about not, not give a permission to be built? Well, not give an eyesore? No, how about the people that own the property for 20 years? Mom and Pa want to go on vacation now and they're selling their property. Yep. That is their life savings. What do we tell the people? You can't. We're not going to let you sell your property. We're not going to let you sell your property. Well, I'm looking at the sign behind you, sir, mm -hmm. where life is worth living. Okay. You well, have you a number. I'll get to that, to that in a circuitous manner, if you'd allow me. Life is not very worth living for any of us in this corridor that you have allowed to be built to the moon and back. And I'm guessing probably none of you live there because none of you care. But I do, and a lot of us do. And the jiffy loop that's going down here, everybody's really not too pleased with that. And how about, you know, if you, if you, go, if you go to Pittsburgh, I bet we could all agree that that's a lovely town. Let's not play games. It is. Really? Webster is not. And everybody would tell you that. I'm sorry to say. Again, I'm in the community. I'm a teacher. I, I hear. Everybody talks. Nobody's thrilled with the direction that this town has taken. Mm -hmm. But if, if any of you, if I ask any of you, do you live on this corridor? I guarantee the answer is no, because you wouldn't allow this to be built up the way it is. Zoning Sorry? Zoning. Zoning. Um, not probably like you do, but I think I would have done a better job. Okay. I, I do. So the zoning we, have yes. allows certain development areas. Is what? Zoning allows various types of development. Okay. Any of the developments you see go in comply to that zoning. So it's allowed. So, if you live so I don't know what Pittsburgh is. I don't know what Fairport is. I don't Pittsburgh because we're not Okay, but maybe maybe you should look at whatever their zoning codes are because somebody's doing it well and somebody's not. Again, there's a, there's room for growth, correct? Somebody's doing it well and somebody's not. Well, that's you know what that's your opinion. It is, it is. But when I'm looking at an ice cream store, a storage unit, a funeral home, a McDonald's, there's no rhyme or reason to what's going on. Give me a chance, I will. Let you talk. I will. You're complaining about that building going up there. And I gave you a scenario. The farmer sells his property. That's his income. That's his livelihood. He didn't get a teacher's benefits. Uh, he didn't get work in zero He didn't work my 30 years of killing myself with my daddy. Yeah, we should be a teacher. That. Yeah, my daughter does the same thing. Okay. So the person sells the piece of property. Mm -hmm. It's zoned a certain way. There's a lot of use for it. And yeah. 
They sell it to somebody that wants to buy it. This is their pension. Where is the town buying any so land you're, you're to keep it green? I'm track. asking where the town is in buying property to keep it green. Where's you have more of your accidents in this town of Western New York. It has more space than any other town in Monroe County. True story. True story yeah. for that? Yeah. Let's revisit that in five years because it's not looking like this. But do you know where more of your accidents are? Not around it quite, as you might think. Do you know where most deer accidents right. are? I think, I think you know what we're going to do here. We're going to, I'm going to, we're going to table it, I'm sure. No, we're not going to I just want to finish that it's in Webster because you haven't given animals a corridor here. We are You've built up so meeting, much uh, that animals don't even have a place to go. And so this little, this little hallmark here with the sailboat in the trees, I wish actually that you guys all cared about animals and people and found a balance. And there isn't even that. So, no, it's not worth living. Well, I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.